Hi everyone, I'm Venetia. Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I talk all about cybersecurity and how you can succeed as a woman in cybersecurity. So let's get started straight off. It's the new year. It's all about vision boards, goals, a mission for your life, elevation for your career. You know, there are things, we have things. What we need to do is we need to put a plan in place. In the early stages of my career, I really struggled to get my plans in place and get it happening in the new year, etc. But if you're at that point where you're starting out your career and or you're looking to elevate, I highly encourage you, even if it's just a few line items that you put together on where you want to be um, a year from now, six months from now, three years from now, whatever your timeline, put that down so that you can visualize it and so that you can see how uh, valid and actionable that actually is. Building a study plan for cybersecurity. The first uh, kind of thing that you need to keep in mind here is that this is an evolving uh, world. It's an evolving field. It's not something that you can put down what you're going to be doing for the next three years because honestly, Things change so quickly within cybersecurity. The technology evolves. There are new threats materializing, and you know, cybersecurity professionals tend to do, um, you know, certain qualifications, bootcamp certifications in one area, and then when you start getting into the workplace, you might find yourself in a completely different space. So it's not something that is fixed, and your mindset should not be fixed on what you're going to do for the next three years or so. Um, how I build my study plan is to map out where I want to be in one year from now and that's really just high level in terms of what role I might want to be in, um, if you want to work for a particular organization or in a particular space, put that down as part of your vision. And then uh, what I actually do is I look at the requirements in that specific role where I want to be. What are the certification requirements? What are the technical requirements? What is the uh, soft skill requirements that I need to have? Do you want to move into a people management kind of space? Do you need to have different skills for that? And that really informs what I put down for my annual vision for what I want to do for the year. But when it comes to actually defining my goals and putting dates and times to my goals and deadlines, I do that on a quarterly basis. So I will build out what my goals are for one quarter of the year. And this is how I do that. Firstly, I start with what I want to study and why. So what certification do I want to get and why do I want to do it? So to give you a practical example, for quarter one of this year, um, I'm going to be doing another Microsoft certification. It's going to be the SC200 certification. And that's because I want to uh, learn more about the security operations and analysis side of things, work on the SIM components like Sentinel, etc. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's why I'm going to do it, because it's going to elevate my career long term. I'm going to be able to have better conversations with my customers. I'm going to be able to better threat and understand the technology, etc. So that's what I want to do and that's why. Then the next thing is, does this uh, component that I want to do fit into my overall career plan? And remember my career plan I've now defined for one year in the beginning before I even went down to the quarter of putting my AC200 certification in one quarter. And the answer there is yes, because at the end of this year I want to have done a bunch of, or not a bunch, three cloud certifications um, in order to bolster my knowledge about cloud and cloud security specifically. So this year is going to be a cloud focused year for me. It's going to be driven into cloud because I am a cloud security architect. So it just makes sense that I elevate my portfolio a little bit more in the cloud space. So yes, it does fit into the longer term time frame of what I have planned for my career. What you want to do once you've selected a particular certification that you want to do, bootcamp that you want to do, etc. What you want to do is plan for your timeline. Remember, 
Goals are actionable when they're firstly achievable and secondly when they have a deadline. You have to set a deadline for yourself and you have to find a way to hold yourself accountable otherwise you may not execute on your goals and that's so important. So the next step is what is your timeline? So to give you the practical example again for the SE200 I've researched and I have found that sort of my timeline and how much time I need to study for this exam is going to be about 30 to maybe 45 hours to study for this exam and then I still need to do hands-on labs and I still need to practice do some practice exams so that I can get into the right mindset etc so so you get it um, you need to understand what the resources are that you're going to be using to study for your exam or certification and you need to understand what the timeline is associated to that. So now you've put down what you want to do, now you put down um, sort of how you're going to do it, so what are your resources, what's the time frame, etc. And uh, then you put that into a specific timeline. So now I can see that I'm in January at the moment and SC200 is very achievable for me for this quarter because I only need about 40 to 45 hours to prepare for this. Now I have a full-time job, I have a business that I'm running, so those 40 to 45 hours and I have a family, so those 40 to 45 hours has to come in between somewhere where I'm not doing my kids homework and I'm not working in my full-time job and I'm not um, doing my business so it's not necessarily going to take you only one week to prepare for the certification by means that it's 40 to 45 hours might take me two months to prepare for the certification and be fully ready but what I'm now going to do is I'm going to move to the next step which is to book the exam so I'm at the point where I've already done all the research. I know what resources I'm going to be using for to prepare for the SC200 and I now need to book my exam. So I'll be booking my exam for about the end of February, perhaps first week in March. And by booking the exam, that's how I'm going to be keeping myself accountable to actually executing and actioning this goal because I've now paid the money or committed myself and I've now booked the exam. Disclaimer, I work for Microsoft, so I don't really pay for the Microsoft exams, but um, you get the point. All right, and I think the final step here is, especially for uh, beginners in the industry, and for people trying to build their professional profile and network, you have to showcase your skills while you're studying. This is sort of um, a part of the study plan that I think not many people include, but you have to include a once a week time slot where you've sat down and you've captured the lab that you've built or you've captured the information that you've learned, or even if it's your notes, just take, you know, clear notes for that session of what you're learning and actually share the information that you're learning and the knowledge that you're gaining on a professional platform like LinkedIn to build your network. This is so, so crucial. Um, in like in many other spaces, like for example, in a coding world, uh, there, there are much easier ways to showcase your skills and what you've learned through projects, etc. In cybersecurity, you know, it's you can definitely use something like GitHub or something like that, but it's not necessarily that simple and it's not the same. So you've got to build your network. Cybersecurity works on a model of trust. If someone recommends you, you um, to an employer, uh, you know, if, if word of mouth is so powerful, so you really have to focus on building your network while you're studying to be able to set yourself up to get that job at the end of the day. All right, friends, so that's really the crux of how I build my study plan. Um, so it is longer term goal that I'm flexible on, then quarterly goals that I fully commit to. I make sure that it aligns to my long term roadmap. I then research what I'm going to 
need, what the resources are, how much time I'm going to be spending studying. Once I know that time frame, I can then book my exam before I start studying. So important, before, to hold myself accountable. And then finally, I'm going to showcase my skills online. I'm going to be talking about the certification that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be sharing a lot of insights and information, knowledge that I've gained, etc. And then hopefully uh, by the end of the deadline of when we're actually writing our exams, we're going to be ready to write it. And one final key tip of information is that even if you've booked the exam and you don't feel like you are 100% ready, if you really, really don't feel, you know, even close to there, then by all means, you know, you can always reschedule your exam, but I highly encourage you not to do that. Stick to your deadline, commit to your deadline, and you're never going to feel 100% ready, but just make sure that you gaining the knowledge and you studying purposefully um, in order to, to achieve the goal or get the certification or get the credential, whatever it is that you are targeting at this stage. All right, friends, that is it for this video. I hope that this has helped you out. Um, let me know in the comments below what you are studying and uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. Catch you next time.